when I look back on what was the pivot point in my life, and I'm, you know, it really was the fact that I got serious when I needed to get serious, and the opportunity was presented to me from Northeastern. I'd like to make sure that that's available to everyone that has the fire in their belly to go do it. When I was uh, going through the program, uh, I was learning, but it was like drinking out of a fire hose. Going to Northeastern and my affiliation with Northeastern has given me confidence that I can really do anything. We're instantly connected because I think we're, we're cut from the same cloth. As a blue collar kid like I am, we're connected culturally. We both grew up outside of Boston. I was north of Boston, he was south of Boston. Our economic circumstances, our family backgrounds. We decided, you know, maybe we ought to combine forces here. It dawned on us because we cared about the same things, because we were focused on the same objectives. If we combined our gifts, it just had a multiplier effect. The naming of the school wasn't really in our thought process. It was more about how do we help accelerate the campaign and the fundraising for the university. Looking at it from a business perspective, when I got to know the senior team and I saw what they had accomplished with the resources, I was very, very confident that this is a gift that was going to build on a tremendous trajectory of success. I really felt like now's the time to be supportive of Northeastern, but also knowing that that Joseph has a vision that, that I really want to be supportive of. They wanted to do something very meaningful, but they didn't want their name to be mentioned. I worked with Alan and I worked with Rich on changing that. And I said to them, we need your name because you are going to give something very dear to you, your identity to the school. This is another step in the evolution of Northeastern University because it represents the first time that a college at Northeastern University has been named by its alumni. The names Rich Damore and Alan McKim are not just two names. They really are uh, the names, the identities of two people who so embody all of the best qualities and characteristics of Northeastern. We are a college defined by entrepreneurs by innovators. That is what Alan and Rich have done throughout their career. Both uh, Damore and McKim obviously represent sort of, you know, the American dream, right? You come from humble backgrounds and work your way into success and then you're able to share it. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. My dad was a firefighter. We got the work ethic from them. You see somebody working three jobs so that you can go to school, that there's a big value there. My father, he started his business on his own from nothing. I would hear him come in at 10 o'clock at night. He'd be covered in oil because that's how he started. But he pushed us to work hard and to know that we needed an education. And he does credit the education and support that he got from Northeastern, contributing to a large part of his success. My father went back to school to get his MBA because he knew that without it he wouldn't have been able to take the company as far. It means a lot to him to give back to Northeastern. What we're all looking for in the venture capital business when we make an investment is number one, you're looking for a big, rapidly growing market. Education is that big market opportunity. It's something that, that we all can and should be able to take advantage of to not only better our lives, but certainly to improve society. For America to stay important and relevant over the long term, we must dominate in the areas of creativity, innovation, and in the business standpoint, taking that innovation and building it into a commercializable business. That whole thing is now part of what will be the DeMore McKim School of Business. We need to have great talent coming out of our university systems to create the jobs and, and, and drive our economy. Northeastern really provides a, a, a great uh, foundation for it. This gift is a great way for the next generation of entrepreneurs to feel empowered, to be themselves, and be successful. Both of these individuals who are very successful entrepreneurs have built significant businesses. They have that same uh, view that this is another investment uh, backing you know, great faculty, backing a great institution like Northeastern and the College of Business, and really in many ways backing its students today and into the future. When I see a man or woman with that kind of uh, fire and skill set and uh, passion for learning and applying. And I sometimes think, boy, this might be another Alan or Rich here, so hopefully they're going to go on and do the same kinds of things. Right now it's hard to believe that Northeastern could get any better. We're doing amazing things. We're paving the way for the future in so many ways. Knowing that this, that this donation can bring about so, so much more change and more opportunities it's really overwhelming. These alumni are committed to us and committed to the program and they're committed to the excess of the, of the program. And I, 
I hope I can contribute almost <laughs> as much as they can, you know, down the line. The value of the university is growing and being bolstered by the alumni. My diploma is going to be worth more than I bet it was going to be when I first came to this school. It's amazing that someone can really support the school that much and really believes in the program and wants to help further it, that's really going to change the future of every student that comes to the College of Business. Renaming our business school and always seeing the names of the donors that have just allowed us as students to accelerate and move so much farther than we ever dreamed of. They're permanent role models and we can look up at their names every day we walk into business class and be like, that's who I want to be in 20 years. It'll be nice to see the name of our school and uh, my family's name on it and the bios of all those successful people. It's really an unbelievable thing. It's the amazing thing. It would be great if my parents knew that this was happening since they spent so much of their parenting directed towards education. It would be really nice if they were here to see that happen. Um, but I think, I think they know. So we're extraordinarily proud. I'm extremely proud. I've got seven grandchildren now. They're all four years old and, and younger. I hope someday one of them graduates from the DeMora McKim School of Business. That to me is exciting to think about. You know, I will share with my kids how my father got to where he is, to know that their grandfather worked really hard to build a business and to also give back to the school that helped him become successful. The alumni who graduated 10 years ago, last year, 40 years ago, and the students who are here with us today, and the students that will be with us tomorrow, will always refer to themselves in the following way. I'm Christopher Wolfel, class of 2013, the first graduating class of the DeMore McKim School of Business. My name is Jeff McCarthy, proud alum of Northeastern University, graduated in 1977 from the DeMore McKim School of Business. I'm Fran Janis. MBA class of 82, DeMore McKim School of Business. My name is Danny Wadila and I am the class of 2014 from the DeMore McKim School of Business. George Curtis, MBA class of 1988, DeMore McKim School of Business. Patricia DeMore graduated with an MBA in 1987 from the DeMore McKim School of Business at Northeastern. I'm Melissa McKim, class of 1999, high tech MBA, class of 2006, DeMore and McKim School of Business. My name is Alan McKim. MBA 88. I'm uh, Rich DeMore, class of 76, and I'm a graduate of the DeMore McKim School of Business. 